It's not the LDL, it's the damaged LDL that's the problem. So Dr. Allo here, double board certified cardiologist, I actually wrote the book on cholesterol, you might wanna listen up. So there are no studies that show that the damaged LDL, whatever that means, is actually the problem. Uh, it is just LDL. Literally, if you never check damaged LDL, and whatever damaged means, I have no idea what he's referring to, but even if you check like, LDL particle size or oxidized LDL or non-oxidized LDL, literally none of that beats just plain old LDL cholesterol. If your LDL cholesterol is high, you are going to have heart disease. For every one millimole reduction in LDL, which is 38.6, for every 38 milligrams per deciliter you reduce your LDL, you get a 20 to 26% reduction in cardiovascular event rates like heart attacks and strokes. Uh, cardiovascular death rates, as well as all-cause mortality. So this person, you know, wearing a surgical cap or whatever, is completely wrong, has it completely backward. LDL in and of itself, damaged or not, is the best predictor and the actual cause of atherosclerosis.